Okay, to construct a DSI surface, which is a diffused surface illumination setup, it's very similar to FDR, but you don't have to use a silicon compliant surface, and you can detect objects hovering, fiducials, because it uses diffused illumination. Uh, a couple of disadvantages are that the N-Lighten acrylic, which is a special acrylic that you have to use, costs a bit more than clear acrylic. It's by Enlighten, and what it is, it looks exactly like regular acrylic, but it has microscopic uh, metallic particles embedded within it. So as light sh is shown through the acrylic, uh, it, it's deflected by those microscopic particles and is reflected from the top and the bottom. So as you can see, exactly the same setup as FT FTIR, LED ribbon in an uh, L frame here. We, obviously you can do whatever you want, but basically this is the gist of it. Ribbon all the way around, enlighten in the center here. And then you, what you do is you can put uh, either an L LCD setup, you would put this directly on top of your LCD, or if you're doing a projector setup, you would typically stick your rear projection material on top. And the best rear projection material is also by Evonik. It is their 7512 material. Now 7006 is a uh, five millimeter. And let me grab some of that here, hold on. All right, so this is the 7D006. It is a gray material. Uh, both surfaces are single-sided matte, uh, so it's slightly clear on one side and then it has the matte surface on the top. You use that as a projection surface, so make sure you look into the light and, and find out which one is uh, the top. And so that, anyways, this is the five millimeter. The 7D006 is much thinner at three millimeter. Do a comparison here for you. Come on. All right, hard to focus here, but uh, basically you can see it there. There we go. So the 7006 is on the right, the 7512 is on the left. Uh, both very similar in gray color. The 7006 does give you a bit better picture, um, but both are about 50% light transmitting, so they produce really, really good images for rear projection, and their blob production is perfect. Um, it, because of that matte layer, it only has the blobs appear red as soon as you touch it, so it's really good. Um, as you can see, I did some testing on the 7006 piece that I have here, and you can scratch it very easily. If you see those scratches, those are with my fingernails. So basically make sure you put a mar resistant layer on top of the rear projection material to protect it. I'm not gonna do that in this setup because it's just a demo. Okay, so diffuse surface illumination. We've got our 7512 on top. This is our enlightened frame with our LEDs going around it. And let me turn off the lights here. All right, I've put the uh, front uh, on this, so now we have a totally enclosed box. All diffused illumination uh, setups should typically use a enclosed box, so I've done that here. Um, basically, we have the same setup. This is DSI, and you can see here, um, perfect blobs. So I've calibrated it so it's only as soon as you touch the surface. So once again, this is 7512 on top with N-Light and below. The, end light, the environmental lights, eight millimeter ribbon going all the way around, all four sides. And you can see it's only producing blobs until you just barely touch the surface. And I've made the blobs really big as you can see. You can make it even more accurate so that it doesn't do it. I mean, you can, I'm barely touching, but you can see you still get a blob if you have a slight hover effect. All diffuse surface tables will have this effect. This setup is by far my favorite um, because it's so turnkey. There's no silicon pouring from the uh, FTR system. There's no uneven illumination in this setup. Basically, you've got perfect turnkey. Five one, so you got the 512 on top, 
end lighting, LEDs, ready to go. Easiest system to do. And it's what I make all my setups out of is DSi. You can do fiducial tracking on this, finger tracking, object tracking, anything you want. Uh, you do have to have an enclosed box though, so large walls is typically out of the question for it. Um, also, you are limited by the length that the LEDs will go through the end light, and um, it's typically about 17 inches from each side. So you can't have something that's more than about three feet or about a meter, or about a third of a meter, um, or sorry, <laughs> about a meter uh, wide here. So about three feet is the maximum on the shortest side. You can go forever lengthwise because you have the LEDs going across both sides, but as you can see, really, really good blobs.